So who's for the, everyone? So who's the first? Am I the first one? Uh, for my E three. For this stuff. Since you've yeah. been to this, okay, so that I feel special already. Yeah, no one, no one. I will, and I will even say for the Nintendo dads, no one has heard my predictions. You are the very first person who's going to hear any of my thoughts. <laughs> Guru and today's obviously a little different because if you're listening to the Nintendo PlayStation podcast, this just popped up. If you're listening, to if we ran Nintendo, this just popped up. If you're listening to uh, Nintendo Talk Live, it popped up. Breaking Bells, it popped up. Like it popped up across all the feeds. So if you listen to it once, just listen to it a couple more times. You're fine. You can just keep listening to it. It's okay. Um, today I'm doing a little special episode of Nintendo Talk Live, and it is with the one and only for the Nintendo Dads, the uh, the patriarch. Mr. Uh, Justin Masson, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, buddy. It has been way, way too long for yes. us to get together and have a yes. chat. It's, I'm excited, though. It's 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 not. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of this. I think no. So the last time was Nintendo Talk Live. I think when I came back officially last summer yep. was probably yep. the last time we actually did something together. Because uh, I think so. I think we did that, and then we played some Fortnite, a little bit of Fortnite afterwards. Yep. So, yeah, I think so. That yeah. reminds. Yeah, I think that was that was. Uh, I'm, speaking of, I like your Fortnite coverage lately. By the way, thank you, thank you. I, I'm I'm going to be very honest with you. I sometimes look at your weekly challenge map, and it uses I use as a cheat sheet of what I need I, to do. So. I do too. I, I that's why it's great. You know what the funny thing is is although I'm not doing it for season nine because yeah. I wasn't sure who liked it and who didn't. I wasn't sure yeah. who was using it. So, uh, highly intelligent Jared, um, he was doing them for me, mm. and. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I compensate him to do him for the whole season. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, but it's, just, but he came to me, he was like, are you going to continue to do these? And I was like, you know what? Let's just stop. Um, and he was like, yeah, because it's a little, it's hard for me. And I was like, cause sure. the problem is, is he's got to rush, you know, yeah. like you got to get the information rush and put them up. And so I just said, you know what? Don't worry about it. Take this. And he was doing it for somebody else the year mm. before the, okay. se- the season before. And, uh, yeah. that's where I saw it. I was like, dude, what would it take for you to do this for me? So he shot me a number, and I was like, "Do it, done. Let's let's do yeah. it." And uh, so who knows? Maybe season ten, I'll, I'll get him to sure. do it again. And then, but I my thing was is I just enjoyed the ability to like find stuff and see where it is, and just mm-hmm. know where it is and just go. It's a little yeah. tough now. Now that season nine started, on week one, I'm like, okay, how do I do this stuff? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think for I think for someone like like me who's very like I have limited gaming time. Yeah. So I know it's like I've got an hour, yeah. so I want to get in, get out. I don't want to bugger about. And, and even when I'm planning my hour of what I'm going to do, it's very precise. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. So I know exactly where I'm going to go. I'm going to go solos. I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. do, you know, uh, rumble. So, But I found it was very helpful for me to kind of maximize my hour, if yes. that makes sense. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Makes yeah. a lot of sense. So um, so what we wanted to do here was Justin reached out to me. Um, he traveled from Ireland over to mm-hmm. the United States to Boston. And yep. uh, and at first when you messaged me, I'm like, wait a minute, does he want me to come to Boston? Like, or, <laughs> like what is? And then I mentioned the show on the show. I was like, he's not coming to your house, is he? And I was like, no, 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 no. He's like, because he's not allowed to, man. That's like my territory. Because when <laughs> Sean came here this summer, he's he's really protective. That oh, he's very, he's very, he's like he's like a jealous schoolgirl. You know? I I will I will say this, and I don't have any official plans, right? Nothing has been marked in a calendar. I haven't talked to my wife about it, but I have a I have a real inkling to go to or desire to go to PAX East 2020. If that happens, big, I'm there. If a big desire. So you let me know. I'm, one, I'm wondering if we can maybe make that happen and maybe share a hotel room and have a bit of crack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, well, not sorry. not Sorry, what's... that's an Irish term. I apologize. Uh, it's not the drug it's, in Ireland. You know what? I, I know this. Wait a minute. I know this because I like Becky Lynch, who's a sure. WWE wrestler, and she's yeah. from Ireland. Yeah. It's a good time, right? Or fun? Mm-hmm. A lot of fun? Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A little, yeah, so, so, you know, you'd yeah. say to someone, oh, we're going we're gonna to go for a night of crack. Okay. And it's not the drug. <laughs> it's a bit of fun. So we'll have to figure that one out. But I, I have this – I love Boston. I've been here a lot. And uh, I really want to go to PAX. And I think that if I can align it properly, I'd love to go to PAX awesome to go, East. Man. And, I would, I would love and you're it. in the area, right? So I'm, I'm, make that I'm like six hours away, seven hours away, somewhere in there. Beauty, um, you know, I'd be I'd be there in a minute. Seriously, I was supposed to go this year. Yeah. Um, 
Patreon supporter Bobby Miller, um, he actually bought me tickets this year. Oh wow! But I couldn't go, and I was like, yeah, because uh, because work was a little kinked up. They had let the girl go that I was working in the office with. Yeah. So I was working all winter by myself, and they never mm. hired anybody till recently. And I was like, "There's no way I can work, you know, a half a day and then drive to yeah. where if I was off, I would have worked a full day, drove up Friday night, stayed overnight, yeah. and then Saturday did the whole show, stayed yeah. over again, and then come back home on Sunday." But yeah. just just wasn't in the cards. Who knows? No, I hear you. But if that's the case next year, I'll do what I did for E3. I'll just be like, "Got to go." Yeah, it's it, I'm taking off. That's it. Done. That's yeah. what I did last year. Last year I went to nice. E3 and I was like, I went up there, I, I went up to my boss and I handed him the request for him to take off. He's like, well, you know, we kind of have a freeze for vacations during this time. And I'm like, yeah, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I'll just quit. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> like, I'm like, I, I have, because at that point, at that point, I didn't have a house. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a wife. I didn't have yeah. a dog. I didn't have nothing. Sure. I had no car payments. I had nothing. I was living with my mom. Yeah. And I was like, I could start over. I'm, and my mom yeah. didn't want me to leave. So I was like, Sure. I, I could I could start over right now. You know? She's yeah. she's always asking me, like, why why didn't why did you leave? You should have stayed here. And I'm like, Trust me, I need freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't Trust live me, mom. you can't you live away from either. the house for a long time and then yeah. go back home. Um, mom, you don't you you don't want me destroying your broadband internet bill there, mom, with all my broadcasting. I actually I actually jacked her her stuff up because when I, I, I couldn't even get I couldn't even get internet. I was on one side of the house, she was on the other. I couldn't even get it. I was like, this isn't working. So I called them up and I was like, what are you giving my mother for internet? And they told her, and I was like, what? Like what? What is wrong with you people? And I actually was <laughs> able to get her better internet at a cheaper price. I was like. Mom, what is happening? That's awesome. Yeah, it worked out. So, at this point, people are like, "Why are these two rambling for forever?" Like, because <laughs> we do. We're catching up, and this is what we do. But the whole yep. the whole meaning was, Justin came over from Ireland, um, and then he reached out to me. He was like, "Hey, man, listen, I would love to do a prediction show with you for E3 with Nintendo." And um, so I said, "Yeah, let's let's do this. I would love to just I, I wanted to do something like this for a while." Um, yeah. I, I did it with Toby last week on Nintendo PlayStation, but um, there, there's more I could have done. I only did a couple, you know, for that, and there's mm-hmm. always more I could predict. Um, and these are, these things are fun to do. You know yeah. I mean? So, and what worries me is you come <laughs> super prepared, which I'm, annoys me. I got me. notes. I know. I know. I got notes. You're, you're like, I, I hate you, dude. Well, you know, the funny thing is I was talking to Toby earlier today because we recorded like a few hours ago. Mm-hmm. And he says to me, uh, I was like, man, I said, Justin can't, you know, come earlier. I said, because I was going to try to get him to come on this show with us. Mm. And uh, I said, it would have been fun to have him come on this show. And he's like, uh, he goes, I, man, he goes, I love listening to Justin Masson do predictions. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he is so prepared. He's like, that. He, st- he starts talking about the time when you came on and we did the live video for uh, yeah. Labo. And yep. he was like, "This it was amazing. Like, he had insider source. I'm like, he don't have insider source. He just gets <laughs> press releases because he's, you know, cause he's kind of a quasi-ambassador through Canada. Yep. And uh, he's like, oh, but he's, he's like, still, he had, it was like he had inside information. I'm like, oh, my, well, shut up, Toby. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh. well, let's, ask, let's start with this. How many predictions do you have? Uh, I don't know if I, so I have some predictions. I have more, what I would call themes. Okay. Okay. Uh, of, of, uh, Nintendo and E3 and it, and in a lot of ways, I mean, I think there are some predictions. It's also a little bit of a conversation of like, yeah. uh, I'd love to hear some of your thoughts on some of these things too. Cause yeah. I think, um, I think you'll be shocked by what I expect from Nintendo, mm. um, being, being a Nintendo fan and being, you know, the Nintendo dads, um, I have different expectations, so I'd like to. And I hear some people talking about some wild and crazy things that Nintendo needs to blow the doors off V three, and I think right here in a couple minutes, my argument is no, they don't. Well, um, I would say this, and I was saying this today again with Toby because we were kind of talking about Nintendo has made their announcement of what they're doing, and I feel like with Sony not there this year, and it's just them and Xbox. You don't have EA there this year. Um, you have Ubi. Like every year, you have Microsoft there this year. Um, you have Bethesda and Square. 
EA stepped aside, Sony stepped aside, and I feel like Nintendo does need to win this year. Just because, in my mind, it's kind of a, we need to show the world we are the leader. And even though Xbox is doing amazing things, in my opinion, is they could just basically show up and be Xbox. I don't yeah. think that Xbox has... Because here's the thing, Xbox, and I and don't get me wrong, I like Xbox, I love Phil Spencer, I love what they're doing, I love the, the collaboration with Nintendo, but Xbox for the last two years have showed up, made all these grand grandiose uh, promises, and have mm-hmm. delivered on nothing. And mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is, they come out and they make all these exclusive, exclusive, exclusive comments, and none of the games are exclusive. Um, yeah. And if they are, they disappear from exclusivity pretty quickly. Um, and so that's the thing that I feel like with Xbox is they're in a weird position this mm-hmm. year where Nintendo, as long as they don't drop the ball, they pretty yeah. much have it wrapped, in my opinion. Yeah, I think, you know, and you're, I'll talk about this a little bit when we get into it, but I, I do think Xbox is in a, I think, so here's the thing. I think Xbox could win mm-hmm. the show. But I don't think it's because of content. I think Xbox could win on strategy, okay. if that makes sense. Well, that makes and sense what I, and, and what I mean by that is, I don't think yeah, you know, I don't think they're going to blockbuster a lot, right? Yeah. I think it, you know maybe it's Gears Five, yeah. maybe it's maybe it's a couple exclusives, but I don't think anything that's going to really like, probably oh. rock the world. But I think I think the corner that Xbox has pointed the, or painted themselves into. But their, st- st- their strategy of let's begin to move forward everywhere, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I think I, I think if if indeed and if we kind of break into it now, I think if we see Phil Spencer, or or some kind of you know, um, geez, Doug Bowser mm-hmm. on the Xbox stage or mm-hmm. Phil in the direct, yeah, that's the conversation. Yeah. It won't be Nintendo has shown you Animal Crossing and it's amazing. Yeah. It will be. Microsoft is on yeah. Nintendo Switch, and and Microsoft will be the lead line. Yeah, it will not be Nintendo Switch now has Game Pass. Got Nintendo it. Switch now has Xbox. It will be Microsoft on an Xbox, or sorry, Microsoft on Nintendo product. And and interestingly enough, I think from a from a social media perspective, from a news cycle, that would be the bigger grab yeah. than Nintendo saying we have Animal Crossing or we have Super Mario Odyssey two. Yeah. Right, because what Xbox is doing there is, or Microsoft doing is, they're strategically moving the industry in a different direction, making a very bold statement. Yeah. If indeed that's what they do, yeah. and that's questionable, yeah. right? I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of cards on the table for Xbox right now. It's what's going to be played at E3 yeah. that will be interesting. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I feel like with Microsoft moving into a service-based company, though. In terms of gaming, it's almost like they're leaving, but they're not. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I really believe that when they bought Minecraft, it was the beginning stages of what's to come here now. Because when they bought Minecraft, everybody, everybody on the internet was like, that's it. They're going to pull it off of everything. It's going to be Microsoft exclusive, and that's it. And they showed, no, that's not the case. We're going to keep it where it is. They actually yeah. brought it to the to the PlayStation Vita after that. They brought it to the Wii U after that. Then it ended up on the 3DS and now the Switch. They've they've shown that like, hey, we're here to make money and that's it. Yeah. Like you don't buy a franchise for a billion dollars no. or four billion or whatever they spend on it and and just think that like we're just gonna leave it on one place. You need to yeah. you need to make money. Um, yeah. And they have they've done they've done a great job with that franchise. When I look at what they're doing, I'm not sure. Again, I feel like if they show up, either way, and I do feel that. I do feel like Miyamoto could show up over on the Xbox stage um, because I feel like Miyamoto is the ambassador to that. But I understand that it's an American company and all that. Maybe Doug Bowser's better. But I always feel like people lose their minds when they see Miyamoto. Yeah, I think – so here's my think thought of it is I do think if it's going to be someone, I do think it will be Doug Bowser. Okay. Uh, and the reason being a little bit to the North American component of it, mm. right? Like they're in Washington. They're right in the same area, yeah. right? Like yeah. they could be going for coffee together. Yeah. But I also think that also helps to symbolize potentially – you know, we've got a new Nintendo. 
right? We've seen some new bodies, some new fresh faces. Yeah. We have uh, obviously a new president. I think that's a good tempo yeah. or a good way to start. By the way, I'm Doug Bowser. This is my friend, Phil Spencer. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, I think that's that's a good tone for him to set. Because, yeah. again, this will be his first E3, and I think that's a good opportunity. He has not got in front of uh, a direct yet. No. Now, obviously, we're recording this as of May 12th, 2019, yeah. uh, so anything could happen in the next couple of days. Would you stop? Not- you know what? Yeah. We're putting a pin in right now. You need to stop. You're doing a disservice to the Nintendo community with your predictions of well, there's a there's a direct coming this day, and then it it doesn't happen, and then you go well next week. <laughs> next week. I, re- I re- you did I it in re- January. You did, did it in April. I did. Stop it. I read the tea leaves, but I will say you. I will say for my predictions, I am I have got a pretty good track record. Not with the direction, you don't. No, the directs. No, yeah. now the directs were just de- directs were just patterning yeah. more than anything else. That's, right? so, I, I, the January one, I was I was kind of with you a little bit, but I was like I, everybody was doing it. So I, I think the so here's what I genu- here's what I genuinely believe. I mm-hmm. genuinely believe there was a direct scheduled for January. Yeah, and I believe that they were preparing to put in Metroid Prime Four update, and then everything went to shit in a handbag. Yeah. And so that's why all that news got trickled out as, as one-offs and press releases. Yeah. And then they got in front of Metroid Prime and had that conversation. I do believe something was planned, but that, that threw everything out the window. I also feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like Nintendo wanted to throw a wrench in everybody saying that it was definitely happening. Because I feel like there's times they don't feel like, this is my opinion, they don't feel like they have to do directs. Correct. They do them because... It, it, it builds hype, it makes the fans yep. happy, but when you have people spoiling stuff and leaking stuff, I think it really does upset them to the yep. point where they're just like, okay, we're just not going to do it. Because it, just before that, there was so many leaks coming out, yep. and they just pushed it a couple weeks to February, and it was, I mean, it's obvious at the beginning of the year we need one. Typically in April, we did get one, you know, yep. and we didn't get one in April. I don't think we get one in May, I'll be honest with you. Now we have got I, them like two, three days before E3 in the past. Yeah, I do. I now, and I wish there was a you know. I, I love using chats and like correct you know. Tell me if I'm wrong or, yeah, or keep yeah. me honest. I want to think in the most recent financial briefing that the president mentioned they will have another announcement or communication before E3. That I'm not sure. Which w- which was essentially a confirmation that there was a direct. Typically in May we would get a direct, and they do. And to your point, they do a house cleaning. Yeah. Right prior to hitting the direct, I always hate um, when they do that one though. Yeah, it's very. It's usually pretty. So, it's pretty soft usually. Well, sometimes. Right? Well, if you remember, a couple of years ago, they did one and they they announced um, uh, Ryu coming to yeah. Smash, yeah. and they showed yeah. the amiibo, and they showed like a whole bunch of Smash stuff like two days before. Then they did a yeah. Pokemon direct the day before, and I was like, what? What are you doing? Like, why would yeah. you do this now? Like, ra- add it to your thing and and make it longer. I just don't think that they put as much emphasis on E three as we yeah. do. You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. view it as like the mecca, and I think they just view it as another day in the office. Well, well and again, again, I, yeah, I do, I do think it's to them. It's another day. It's a little bit more hype around that day. Yeah. They, they understand the, the the importance of it. But the, again, and, and you know, you talked about PlayStation and Nintendo. You know, we've now seen PlayStation take that lead with their Play Any Day or what the their 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 PlayStation State of Play. Direct. State of Play. State of Play. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but the idea being here is like, we don't need E3. We can we can tell you any day. Yeah. We can drop whatever we want whenever we want. I yeah. think that's a powerful spot for them to be at. And I think it was um, an amazing thing is if you remember, not that long ago, everybody looked at Nintendo like, what are you guys idiots? Like, why yeah. are you doing this? And now when you see PlayStation doing it and Xbox does their form of it, it's like. No, oh, who's the idiots? You know what I mean? Like these yeah. are these are the things that Nintendo is always on in front of, and yeah. uh, it's another thing that Iwata did that just you know killed it. You know, it's another, another one yeah. that brain trusts. Um, okay, so let's let's kind of let's kind of jump into some stuff here. Sure. Um, Nintendo. Let's start with this. Nintendo has made their announcement of what their layout of the conference is. Do you agree yeah. with what they did, or would you have made any changes to it? It's pretty stock and standard for them. That's yeah. what I was expecting. Yeah. Like everyone's like, Nintendo was unrevealed their E three plans. I was like, You mean the thing they did every year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? You mean like the date hasn't changed. Yeah, we no. know they were gonna do a Splatoon tournament, you know there's gonna do a Smash tournament, yeah. there's gonna be Treehouse. Like there's no surprise here. No. Um I do think interestingly enough, I do think there could be some content drop in the Smash 
tournament. Yeah, I do. Too. I would not be shocked if we get one um, of the new fighters revealed mm-hmm. during maybe the end of that or during a like uh, an intermission break. Yeah. Right. Or something like that. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if we see something there. I don't think we're going to see anything in the Splatoon 2 tournament. I was thinking yeah, initially, could think we see some L- DLC packages? That's what I was going to say. Could you see them saying, like, hey, man, you guys have really pushed this, and we're going to give this one more pack? I yeah. would like to. I mean, I don't like, understand I, why they're like, getting... I don't know why they're stopping. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, here's the interesting thing. Could we see something like a Splatoon that came out, obviously, in its first the first year of Nintendo? Could that be a legacy title? Could that be a games-as-service almost title for them? Like, like, could they... Could they... And I'm not to say I want to see, but do they jump on something like a a battle pass? They jump on to a battle royale yeah. methodology. Like they could well, they could change that whole thing. Let's let's and I, let's break it down to this, and, and let's be let's be realistic here. Yeah. So they have what thir- approximately thirty thousand units now sold of the Switch. Right, yeah. Right around there. Thirty five. Yeah. 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 Right, right around there. Whatever. And nine million of those people bought Splatoon two. Yes. So why? And and this is a game that needs players in order to play. Yep. So why, if this game has such an amazing attach rate, would you kill it in some sense by just letting it wind out? They're not doing any more Splatfests after this year. Like, the Splatfests yep. are done. Mm-hmm. So it's like you're kind of sending it out to a slow death. So unless they announce Splatoon 3 at this, du- at this Direct, or at during E3, I yeah. just think that it makes no sense why you wouldn't continue... Dude, every season, just put out, like, once, four times a year, put out a heavy, like, here's new gear, this is this gear mm-hmm. is based on the season, like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, they could do so much, and they don't, and I don't understand it. Yeah, I, I like, I definitely do think, I, like, I'd love to see another package. Mm-hmm. Um, whether they're going to or not is, is tough to say, because I don't, I, like, I don't, I don't want them to do a Splatoon 3. It's way too early for that. Yeah. And the other thing that I kind of keep, keep, keep kind of keeps Bur, you know, boiling up for me is the new president's statement of he wants them to push back to DLC, like yeah. he wants them to get reinvested with DLC and you know, kind of rein, reinvigorate these titles that are already out there. So i I think that's a possibility. I'm not I'm not for sure landing on it, but I I, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. I think they had a pretty tight high attachment rate with their recent uh, DLC package as well. Yeah. Right, so I, I think it logically makes sense. I think I think this is the game, without a doubt, that you offer additional modes. Even if mm-hmm. that's the case, if you just go like, "Hey, we're going to expand on the modes, and we're going to make like you know, Salmon Run is now going to have an additional mode," um, mm-hmm. or they they could do like raids where you get like a group of four and you go in and you fight bosses, you know, and yeah. You know, you could take that single player campaign and just turn it into something for four people to go into and play. Yeah. So I would hope that during that event they would do something. Now, for me, I'm on record. I've said it a couple of times. I really thought that they were going to do a Nintendo World Championships again. Yeah. I really thought that they were going to showcase Mario Maker 2 like they did the first time because that was lightning in a bottle. That whole mm-hmm. Nintendo World Championships, and then all of a sudden that fi- they bring out Mario Maker with those three levels that were made from um, the people from the treehouse. Yep. And it was just fantastic. It was just that mm-hmm. moment of watching these guys just break down the levels. Yep. And it was like, oh, this is amazing. So sadly, we're not getting that again, which I wish we would. Yeah, but... I, I'm interested to see how much of Mario Maker they're actually going to cover. Yeah. Whether that's either at E3, like on the actual E3 Direct, or whether that's in the Treehouse afterwards. Yeah. Or whether that's just on the show floor and it's just yeah. playable because it is coming out two weeks after that. Right. Um, and so and I still think we may get a direct in May and, and that may be a bigger blowout for could be for um, Mario, Maker. Mario Maker. So I'm I, I don't know how much they're going to highlight it because it's going to be so much on that edge. Right. Of E3. Yeah. Um, but I could be completely wrong. I mean, I think I would love for them to reveal a ton like hey by the way you can now make mario Ma- mario level two or super mario two levels in it like i want to see that would yeah, blow no my mind no kidding so right so we know what they're gonna do we know the announcement yeah. how yeah. long do you think the direct's gonna be because they didn't say well, that yeah i would say the direct's probably going to be about 35 to 40 minutes yeah i think that's probably the sweet spot anyway yeah, I think I think much longer than that. You've probably got some bloated stuff. The challenge I think that Nintendo is facing here, and I'm going to be very honest with it, 
Nintendo has done a fantastic job already telling us their 2019 plans. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know about you. And, and I mean, here's a couple things that, that, uh, um, to think of. Now, I've pulled up their, their listings for all of, all of 2019 remainder. This is for the fiscal report. Um, let's just assume, okay, let's assume that Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, and uh, Link between, uh, Link's Awakening mm -hmm. are 2019 dates, okay? Now, they are put down as currently 2019, but then they don't get bumped. Let's okay. just assume that, yeah. all right? So here's what we know. We know that in June is Mario Maker 2. Yes. July is Dragon Quest Builders and mm -hmm. Fire Emblem Three Houses mm -hmm. and Marvel Alliance. Mm -hmm. That's three games that's right a, there. That's a big month. That's a big month. That's July. Mm -hmm. August, Astral Chain. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's their new one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing a little bit of like sprinkling of where I guess some of these things are gonna go. Yeah. I believe that Animal Crossing is going to be a September game. I do too. I believe that Luigi's Mansion is an October game. Yeah, of course. You know you have Pokemon in November. Absolutely. And you know you have Link's Awakening in probably December. Yes. So every single month from from Ju June to December, Nintendo is putting out a big, like a solid game. And that's not even game. including, because, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, yep. is Bayonetta 3 a 2019 title? Bayon Bayonetta 3 is still a TBA. Okay, I thought that was I was at the, so they the have officially. not put and okay. so and I'm and I am actually looking at the the fiscal report that came out here at the end of April just a couple of weeks ago and okay. that's where I'm pulling this from. They do have it as a as a to be announced. So okay. okay, nothing firm on that. So 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 here's here's a little bit of my statement. And this is I mentioned to it earlier that I believe there's two stories that Nintendo has to do here. Yes. Or 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 frames and my 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 hashtag my title whatever you want to call this one would be stick the landing. Yes. And what I mean by that is you have a lot of these great games that are out there. Mm -hmm. You need to stick that landing. Yeah. You need to make sure that Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, Link's Awakening indeed land in 2019. You need yeah. to make sure they are robust enough that are interesting. You need to tell me why I want Animal Crossing. You need to fulfill the online functionality. You need to build that community. You need to build the hype. So I don't need for them to tell me about 12 other games that are coming later. I need them to land what they currently have. Yes. Because I believe that, again, you have already, year three, a solid, solid offering that I don't believe. Like, I'm, I really, like, if someone's like, what do you want to see from Nintendo? I just want to see them do these things. Yeah. I don't need 15 other games. Just do these things. Give me the dates. That's all I'm expecting from yeah. them, to be completely honest. And What are I, your thoughts on that? I, I'm with you. I'm with you 110%. I feel like... If you miss Animal Crossing, Pokemon's a go. That's that's a death yeah. get. They're not going to miss yeah. that date, um, and that's a totally separate company anyway. That's been working mm -hmm. on it all year. They're down to a science. It's a yeah. system for them. It's not a big deal. That game's pretty probably already done. It's probably just polish at this point, um, yeah. just fine tuning everything and getting everything down to a to a thing. Link's Awakening, I think, is done as well. I think that game has been ready. Um, if we listen to the speculation and the rumors last year, um, Marcus Sellers called that and he said, mm -hmm. but he was calling it on the 3ds. Yeah. And then it never got announced, never got talked about. And he said in his, in, in that one tweet, he did say they're working on a top down links, awakening inspired, uh, Zelda game. It turns out to be this. We also know that, uh, uh Greco was, working on a HD Zelda game, they were the ones that ported all the all the, the HD remasters, or not even HD remasters, just the remasters on the 3DS. So it makes sense that this game is done as well, in my yep. opinion. Yep. Animal Crossing, man, that game should definitely be done. It's been mm -hmm. a long time since we got an Animal Crossing game. You're talking six years, six plus years, to yep. make that game. So I feel like... Those games are all ready. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of fine tuning and polish and all that stuff. Yep. I think the ones that could be iffy, Fire Emblem, I think could wind up quasi get pushed if they don't pay attention to what they're doing. Um, Astral Chain, I think that one definitely, if they're not paying attention, that's and that's a platinum game. Yeah, they could definitely lose their grip on that one. Um, and you know what? I'm sorry, I missed. Damon X Machina was in there as well. That's another one that should miss its date. That should move to a 2020, 2021, probably yeah. 2023. It's, dude, that <laughs> game needs so much work. 
It yeah. is not even funny. Like what they showed or that demo was horrible. Yeah, horrible. I agree. Um, if it felt like there was so much missing on it, the controls were very clunky. I was not a fan at all. Yeah. Um, so for me, I would if they could, I would push that another year if they can. But that's, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I mean, again, I I I believe that Nintendo has enough in their pipeline that you don't need to show me anything else. But well, I also okay. speaking of the, of, go ahead. I was gonna say my only thing is is they're showing me 2019. Yeah. They have to show me two to three things from 2020. Yeah, they're. I think I think they're going to tease that, right? Because yeah. I do think you're you're going to get uh, scope or look into probably what their February 2020 release is mm-hmm. going to be, right? So we think about this two years ago. This was Yoshi. Yep. Kirby. Right. Kirby, right? So I think I think that's probably probably targets. Um, I I I believe that one of those is probably going to be Pikmin. True. That's another yeah, one that's I, out there. Yeah. I believe it could be Pikmin, but I I'm also curious. What's Retro been doing? Because Retro just got the uh, the the Mega Man or sorry the Metroid Four contract. What have they been doing for the last five years? Not a thing. Not a thing. I I I have I have legitimate information that I could talk oh, really? to you about afterwards. I can't yeah. say it because I'd get in trouble. But sure. I'm t- this comes up all the time. If they were, if they worked on something, I am. Absolutely floored, yeah. but my knowledge of what I was told, they were an absolute train wreck after Tropical Freeze, and they were working on nothing. Really? Hmm. That's interesting. So we'll talk. We'll talk afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But I'm telling. You, remind me. But I'm telling you, I don't. Yeah. My gut is there is nothing there, and yeah. that's what you know. It's 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 crazy because at last E3, people were pissed. That we didn't hear anything about retro, yeah, and you know, so it's it's a little it's a little uh, it's crazy, but I don't think they. My personal opinion is there's nothing there, at all. Sure. So hmm. I mean that racer game, the, the the rumored Star Fox racer. You mean you mean you mean Starlink? Well, now racer? it turns into Starlink right. racer. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. that was what people thought. You know, maybe yeah. that was the thing that was getting leaked, and people just were yeah. misinformed of what it was. Yeah. But you know, we'll we'll talk later. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, the other the other thing the other thing what I'm talking about uh, Nintendo sticking the landing is I think that they need to do a, a really solid offering or solid understanding in this uh, E3 of the online service. We yes. see some big investments of energy and time, and I think that strategically you'll see that. I think. I think it's going to be weaved into stuff like Animal Crossing. Yeah. Right? Animal Crossing is amazing, but you know what's even better? Playing online with your friends. Yes. And here's the things that you can do, but you need the Switch service, yeah. right? So I think they're going to tell a story with that. Um, but, like, we, the, I, I do suspect that's where we will see the SNES, cl- the SNES um, online offering. I do think we're going to see that. I wouldn't be shocked if we also get a free game during that week as well, much like a Tetris 99 drop, yeah. but it's a, another shadow drop instantly. Yeah. Um, they need to – and what they're – I mean – what they're doing right now is they're trying very aggressively to get as many people online as possible. So we've recently seen the Twitch um, strategy, mm-hmm. right? Um, uh, I don't know if it's in the States, but in Europe, if you buy Mario Maker, uh, you can buy like a deluxe version that has a year of uh, Nintendo Switch that. online. Yeah, we don't have that. Because that's the thing. Uh, it, you're going to need you're gonna need Switch online to play Mario Maker. Correct. There's correct. no way. Listen, at the end of the day, it is so cheap that, yep. like, I just did a video this week where I was talking about, like, what they they need to fix it now. But at the end of yep. the day, like, at the price of it, nobody should be complaining at all. It's it's, no. it's a little frustrating, don't get me wrong, because you yep. want to see them do well. But at the yeah. end of the day, like it's it's whatever, you know. Yeah, I, like I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's again if you think value value for what you're getting, I think it's fine. Yeah. But I think Nintendo needs to get better at that yes. infrastructure, and I know that they've been doing. You know, obviously we look at the work that happened recently with Cuphead yes. and the uh, achievement systems there. I would love to see this as an opportunity for Nintendo to say, here are some new things that we're introducing with yeah. the online, and here's some some kind of updates. So that's not a that's not a have to, but I do think they need to do that better. In, the, in this direct, or sorry, in this. Now, the only thing three. I think that you won't see. Now, here's the thing: <clears throat> we also need to, we we also need to get into 
where we're at here in terms of what you're saying. Do you think this happens just throughout? Because that's what Nintendo does. Nintendo does the 45 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, and then they just start sprinkling stuff throughout the two next three days. So some of this stuff, I don't think they, I think that they talk about the online stuff during the treehouse. Treehouse, yeah. I don't think that they really hit on much online stuff during the actual direct. No, I, what I do, like, I, I mean, I think if we, if we go off of what I just said, I think we could we could see, like, a sprinkling of, like, hey, and by the way, here's a quick sizzle reel, yeah. and this game is available now, and it's, if you have a yeah. Nintendo Switch online. Animal Crossing, it's important to have a Nintendo Switch online, yeah. right? And yeah. then I think maybe they'll do the, here's the SNES games, right? Yeah. But then I do think in the Treehouse, Audrey or someone will be like, hey, and by the way, there's this great update, and here's the three things you get. Now, see, right? my, so, my gut tells me we won't see anything with the SNES games until the end of year one of so closer to september mm, okay meaning okay kind of just how they announced before it was just yeah. like here's a here's a video that just dropped and you know like yeah. randomly out of nowhere they just drop like when they need pr control they just drop a video yeah. it's one of those things that come out and then everybody just diverts off of what they're looking at and look i just think it's something that they'll just announce yeah and they'll announce it with controllers and you can buy the controllers exclusively if you're, uh, which by the way, the funniest thing in the world was people getting so mad that you couldn't buy the controllers unless you were Nintendo Online. And online. And I'm like, yeah. well, why else would you need them? <laughs> you yeah. You can't yeah. use those them things. Like... Those things are tied together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. but that's my feeling. I feel like they're not really going to talk about that aspect mm-hmm. because I feel like even though people are frustrated about mm-hmm. not having them. They still don't have to talk about it yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as much as Marty complains about the the, the NES games he gets, he's not yeah. jumping off the boat yet. He's no, still he's there. Still them. He's still hunkered yeah. down. So, yeah. you know, and that's the thing. Like, it is frustrating for the games we do get. Mm-hmm. But I just then I, I go like, well, how else am I going to play Mario Kart with my friends? Yeah. And I just go, well, oh, shut up, Bobby. Just play. Yeah, right. Like, I, I, again, I, I don't, I don't think it's that bad of a value for what you're getting. No, I, I don't either. Not for to... twenty bucks a year. No, it'd be different I... if it was sixty, seventy bucks a year. Yeah, then absolutely. I'd be like, you know what? Well, you're not getting my money. I'm out. Yeah. You know, so. so we'll see. Um. What else do I think? I do think, like I said, I think we're going to get an announcement for Smash. Uh, I think we're going to get one potentially in the Smash tournament and then we might get another during the direct i think so they you'll see have two to. announcements I think, in I think, five days yeah i think they have to do two and the reason yeah. why i say that is the, the fighters pass is over february yeah end of february that so they have four more to do is it four more to do? four, more, right, to four do. more to do yeah four more to do yeah so, so I, and think, I actually almost i almost wouldn't be shocked shocked if we get a shadow drop of one now right like oh, that you think week. one's gonna be ready potentially I, and mm, that's a maybe that's, that's a, a maybe that's a maybe with, with, you still it's have tough. three more to roll out over nine months. No, I know that. I know. I just think that it's. It look how long it took them from the announcement of Joker to actually getting Joker. Yeah, I don't know that they'd be. Uh, I mean, they could months. be ready. Who they could be ready? Who knows? But yeah. it, but if we okay, so let's just look at it mathematically. If they announced them in June, right? June, July, August, September would be September, October. Yeah. There's yeah. They got. I think you're right. They might do a shadow drop, right? Yeah. Then they might announce two. They might shadow drop one at the tournament. Yeah. And then, because that would be so hyped up and crazy. People yep. lose their minds. And then yep. during the direct, announce another one. Correct. That one comes out in October. Then Correct. in October, they announce one again. And then that one yep. comes out in February. Or yep. in the September direct, whenever they do that final push direct at the end mm-hmm. of the year. And that one comes out in February. Well, and I think the other the other part of it that we could see, and this goes a little bit back to the to the Microsoft ag- uh, agreement, mm-hmm. right? Like we could see, hey, I'd like to welcome our good friend Phil Spencer. Phil walks out. Yeah, you know our partnership with Nintendo is really awesome. We're excited that uh, we're ha- you know going to announce a couple of of Xbox games exclusively to to Nintendo Switch, including Ori and the Bl- Ori, and let's say Sea of Thieves. Use as an example, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then he goes, oh, and there's one more thing. Do you guys recognize this guy? Mm-hmm. And maybe it's like Steve or whatever, a creeper. Yeah, by the way, he's coming to Smash today. Yeah. Right? Like, like, so 
it'll be interesting to see again. I, again, I don't have any predictions of who it's going to be. I know everyone's thinking it's going to be Microsoft partner. It could be. And I think if it does, I think it just strengthens that relationship. It makes that Xbox situation more interesting. Here's a question for you, because this has come mm-hmm. up, and I totally forgot about this game. But Microsoft did announce Battletoads was coming. Could you yeah. imagine if they... if Because this is taking it a leap even further. If they were to say, hey, not only are you... We're, here's the gameplay footage for Battletoads, but it's launching on this day. And it's launching on Xbox, whatever console, plus the yep. Nintendo Switch at the same time. That would be insane. Yeah, I think Battletoads is a, is, is a good one that could that could land on most systems. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think we'd see them in Smash. No, no. That, well, no. it'd be amazing if we did, just because yeah. of the history and the lore. Yes, you know what I mean? Because yeah. that 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 franchise, that they're fighters number one, so it makes yeah. sense, you know. But that those fighters, along with um, like the banjo or whatever, mm-hmm. like those ones are so embedded in Nintendo's history. It would be just yeah. amazing to, to see the yeah. Battletoads actually, because not only that, you'd have the Battletoads, you'd have all three, and you could have Echo Fighters of the three. So you could basically yeah. go like, here's all three, and then boom. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so amazing if we got You're that. done and dusted. Yeah. I'd lose my mind. I'd probably actually go back and start playing Smash again. Ooh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> So, and, um, what do you, do you think there's gonna be a DLC for anything? Like, I, I know that we've all, all talked about, could there be Odyssey DLC? I think I've, I've given up on that train. I don't, I don't think, think Odyssey gets that. DLC. I don't think Odyssey gets DLC at all. Um, no. I think, and this was one of my predictions with Toby, I believe we get Breath of the Wild DLC. Really? Uh, yeah. I think that we get Breath of the Wild, because here's the thing. Yes, we're getting, and I think they announce it. That's one of those things that comes twenty twenty. It's not mm-hmm. anything that comes now. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. it's something that'll come in twenty twenty, maybe March twenty twenty, like mm-hmm. the, the two year anniversary or three year anniversary of yep. Breath of the Wild. Um, I think it's an expansion pack. I think it's post Ganon expansion pack. Mm-hmm. Um, this will this will kind of get your, you know, your your your, your goosebumps and all that. Is I would love to see them kind of do a play off of Zelda two. Mm-hmm. Meaning, if you remember that story, that story is Princess Zelda gets put to sleep, yeah. and Ganon's henchmen are trying to kill Link because they, if they take his blood and sprinkle it on Ganon's bones, he'll come, he'll resurrect. Right. What I would, what I think would be kind of cool is if they were to say like, depend, doesn't matter. You pick. Do you want to be Zelda or do you want to be Link? Mm. And the other one gets knocked out and put to sleep. And mm-hmm. then the other one has to go try to wake that one up, mm-hmm. and then you do all this thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. I, I, yeah. I, I would like to see. But I, the reason why I say um, Zelda DLC, to go back to what you said previously, like Furukawa has said that he wants to lean heavily on DLC. He referenced yeah. Zelda in that. Yep. Yeah. For those that are like in the world thinking like we're going to get a brain big 3d Zelda in, in a year or two. No, we're not. That's not going to happen for another five years. We won't see another mm-hmm. big epic Zelda game just because it takes a long time to make those games. I mean, hell, what was it? Three years waiting for Zelda when they announced it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you take that and you know, they're working on it before that. That wasn't the first time we saw it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think it takes a good five years from this point before we even come close to seeing another Zelda game. Yeah. So I think that what's the easiest way to do it? You take the B team and you go, you work on DLC. You know what I mean? Like you have the A team that works on the big games. The B team that was the 3DS team work on DLC and kind of push things along. And then if you want to do ports, and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's when you use Greco and you hire them. You bring them in, and they bring the ports over yeah. to the console. Yeah, yeah. But I truly believe that would be DLC, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that the talk that always comes about when we talk about Breath of the Wild and, and, and potentially a sequel is, of course, always comparing um, Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask yes. and the low cycle turnaround time. Now, yeah. you know, that was back in the late '90s. Yeah. DLC was not an option, right? right? Where I think that if we lived in, in this world now, that would be DLC content. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That would be a, you know, much like Xenoblade Chronicles, it'd be the tour of the other country yes. pack, right, essentially. Yes. So 
I wouldn't be shocked if we do see something there. I like where your head's at, though. So yeah. I, I would love to see that. Um, yeah. I would love to see Mario Kart DLC, but I think that ship has sailed. I, yeah, I was going to say, like, I, I, Mario Kart circled down as a, as a big question mark, right? Because, I mean, we here's what we know. We know there's a mobile game coming. Yeah. Right? We don't know. It is. It's, it's, it's their biggest seller. Yeah. Right? We yeah. know that. 16 million copies. Yeah, like it's it's for a game that's 6 years old? Yeah, it's a Wii U 6 port. years old? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like like so that's that's absolutely bonkers. So do they lean in and say like, "Oh, well, let's just do Mario Kart 9." Right? Or do they say, "Here's DLC packs." And then somehow, excuse me, that's connected to a mobile experience? Like Mario Kart for me, for them is probably the one that I I cannot even guess what they're going to do because i think they could go with any option yeah and i think it would make logical sense i think that's the game that should and you know i think that's the game that should be the legacy game that's the game that should they put it out and they just pepper it with dlc every couple years not even a couple years every every i would say every six months put an expansion pack out and go here's you know four new tracks or you know eight new tracks uh two new cups a bunch of different carts a bunch of different things i would love to see one of two things i would love to see either a legacy collection and just go Mm. that route or mario kart ultimate where they redo all the old tracks they but i think that in order to do a mario kart ultimate to do all the tracks over again with the big orchestral music to bring back all the characters and all the different things. The only way you do that is you have to take a game like Deluxe and you have mm-hmm. to add DLC to it to yeah. just give people something to hold over. I don't feel like the mobile game is enough to hold people over. I think the mobile game is the mobile game and that's it. People don't care about yeah. I, I think it's going to either make or break their mobile stuff. Yeah, I I, like again, I think of I think Mario Kart could be a ga- like could be a games as a service. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I think Nintendo like if there's an IP that Nintendo wants to lead into to use that mo- that methodology for, yeah. absolutely Mario Kart could be it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I think that that would be that would be something that would be killer. So for them, like again, do the DLC. You can do the DLC and it's twenty dollars. Yeah. You just you just made you know sixteen million copies twenty dollars yeah. each. Yeah, that's easy money. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so and that uh, makes the most sense to me. You know I mean? Yeah, I mean, like as a company, you know, from a company standpoint, like it's a low investment. You know, like yeah. it doesn't it doesn't take. I don't believe. I mean, I could be wrong. It doesn't take that much to to build these tracks. You know, like you think about it in the time that we got our last DLC pack. To now, holy crap, dude! They should easily be able to have like eight, to sixteen tracks. Yeah, done. Yeah, you know. And, and I, well, and here's the interesting thing: is I think it's a challenge for, and I and I and I want us to understand how is Nintendo going to do this? How is Nintendo? What is Nintendo going to do with these IPs that were ported over from the Wii U? That so so like, is it reasonable for me to say we should have a Donkey Kong Country game? Well, hold on a second. We just had a Donkey Kong Country game a year ago. Yeah. So is that a reasonable expectation not to saturate a market? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, I think games like Donkey Kong, I think games like Mario Kart, like when is the pro- – like are we going to see those at the end of the Switch's life cycle because of the fact that they were kind of up front, uh, loaded up front? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, I'm I, I got where you're going on this one. I think Donkey Kong Country – it's probably going to be a while before we get another one. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. with Mario Kart, I feel like they knew they needed to get that on the Switch because they knew it was a system seller. They were yeah. smart by dropping a month after the Switch launched. Yeah. Um, I think we see Mario Kart in probably two years. And think I think so? I think that's – here's my, here's my feeling. If we get DLC this year, we won't see Mario Kart for another four or five years. If yeah, we don't right. get DLC this year, I think that they have to do a Mario Kart 9 within a yeah. couple of years. Just because of the fact of, like you said, it is a six-year-old game. Now, to some people, it's a two-year-old game. Yeah. But for those that own the Wii U, it's a six-year-old game. And it's just not... It's a, and, But the crazy thing is it's a fantastic game. The lobbies oh, yeah. are still packed. You go in yeah. and you play and it's still packed. So, 
as I say what I'm saying, I really don't even know. Like you said, it's one of those games that are so hard to predict what they're going to yeah. do. They could do anything with it, and it's it's yeah. it's weird to see it because it's like they could go any direction. And yeah, it it, it for them really it, it can they could I mean they can do anything with that game, and it's going to be adored. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. so. That's why. That's why for them. Like I mean, I I I'm more comfortable with like crazy prediction. Like, you know, we're gonna have a Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC pack yeah. three. Like that, I feel is more confident than me being like, I don't know what they're gonna do with Mario Kart and because it, it could, yeah, it could go any way. I and mean, with me, with with Mario Kart, I feel like as as strong as eight is, I would prefer to see a nine next, where they mm. fix the balancing issues with. The races, mm-hmm. um, and and as I'm saying that, people are probably like, "What are you talking about?" That game has a real issue with it is almost impossible that if halfway through the first lap, wherever you are, you're going to finish within a couple of spots of that. It is mm-hmm. almost impossible to be in eleventh place and move mm-hmm. up the first. But in yeah. the older games, you could you could legitimately do it. You could work your way and get to the front. But with this mm-hmm. one, there's just something about it that you cannot get, you know, that far ahead. And it's mm-hmm. it's frustrating. There are times where it is super frustrating if you're in the back of the pack. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah. So, honestly, I don't think we get anything new because I believe – I mean, I, I, I wasn't as bold to give it an 11 out of 10. But <laughs> – but I, I don't believe that game was as good as we first thought it was. I, sure. I feel like that game was, we were hyped up. It was different than 3D World. It was closer to Galaxy than anything. And it mm-hmm. got people excited. And then there's that nostalgia play at the end of the game that I think really tugged on heartstrings and gave, got people to, you know, be like, hey, this is an eleven. And, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think that that I game stand is, by my 11. No, you don't. I, I think that game is done. Um, and, and cause I think if they were going to do DLC, they would have at least announced it by now. Yeah. The other thing I think of with that game is, could we see a super Mario Odyssey two in the quick turnaround cycle that we saw galaxy? And 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 so that may be enough for us to to not clamor. Now I also believe it may be too early for that. Or if we do get it, we that's a twenty twenty. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the maybe just a, oh, and one last thing. Yeah. And it's Mario coming out of his hat and he throws the hat and it's like Super Mario Odyssey two. That's a go. And well, that's those, it, right? Like you know, well, you know those. The thing of it is too is those games as well as Odyssey is selling. Those games don't typically sell well. Uh, 3D Mario games. Yes. In comparison, they let me let me preface this and let me explain what I'm talking about here. In comparison to a 2D Mario, they never sell well. Mm-hmm. On its own, it does decent, and this one's doing above average. I think this one's at what nine or ten. Uh, for Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually. I was actually just looking at that right now, yeah. actually. I think it's like at nine or ten million units sold. Um, yeah. But when you looked at like Galaxy One and Two, compared to the new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii U or on the Wii, um, I think the new Super Mario Brothers did like thirty-five or thirty million, something like that, some crazy number. Mm-hmm. And 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 Galaxies only did like nine and three or something like that, something crazy. Um, so Nintendo always feels like the two D. Because let's be fair too, the two Ds are easy. You can hand a controller to mom and pop, and they could pick it up and go. Where yeah. I feel like the 3D Mario games are a little bit more hardcore, um, mm-hmm. you know. So there's that. There's always that. Um, I, man, it's it's crazy. Now, okay, so let's do this. Do you think we get rare replay? I think if we do that, like, well, that goes into the statement of like, like, do you think Microsoft and Nintendo have a partnership agreement where they're sharing? I think that's the first question you ask. Yeah, I do. I do think they do. Okay. Um, so I, I, here's what I, here's what I do think we're going to get from them. I didn't think, I didn't think we're a replay, but I'm not opposed to that. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it's, it's just one that I'm just not like, 
I know everyone's clamoring for it. I don't really yeah. care. So um, I think we get Ori. Yes. And I think we get Sea of Thieves. I think, and I've said, I've said both. I've said Ori. I've said Sea of Thieves. I also said Rare Replay. But Sea, of, Thie- sea of Thieves makes so much sense to me. Like, man, if they could do Sea of Thieves, because you would just instantly bring in 10, I would say like 10 million people, 10 million players. Yeah. You know? and, they've, and they've done a major update to it recently. I remember reading something or saw something. Again, I'm not an Xbox person, but I remember seeing something. I was like, that, that to me was all of a sudden, I was like, oh, that's very interesting. They've done some, and they're, and they're encouraging people to go back to it. Um, so again, I think there's, I think there's something going on there and I, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility, yeah. um, to be on the switch. I mean, cause so. I think that personally, I think that if Fortnite is running on the switch, there's no reason why Sea of Thieves could run on switch. Correct. Cause with those cartoony graphics, it's, it just lends itself, you know? Yeah. You know. Nothing feels like it's outside that realm with that. So, um, do you think we're going to see game pass? No. No, no I'm not. I think down the line. Yeah, but I think there's there's a lot of kinks that got to get worked out. Mm-hmm. And knowing Nintendo the way that I know them, they are wanting to see if they can trust Microsoft still. Yeah, like let's see what you give us. Let's see how it does. Baby steps. Um, yeah. I, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I know that there's also rumors about this Forza game coming. Um, the mobile. I think that's. I think that's. Yeah, I think that's a bit wishful. I think honest. it could come. I think we could. I think that this is where Microsoft. Honestly, I feel like this is where Microsoft basically just comes out and goes, "We are, our partnership with Nintendo is solid, and here's what we're doing. This is our future. Yeah. This is the game plan." Um, and then I think they could announce Game Pass. Yeah. And say something along the lines of like. We we'll have more to talk about this later, but in you know maybe twenty twenty we'll talk about it. The Games Pass is coming to the Switch, but I don't think yeah. like it's something where they go like here it is and then boom. Plus, I have to I have to wrap my head around the idea of what exactly Game Pass is. Meaning, yeah. you're not going to get Game Pass and play Halo or stuff like that. No. So is it a, is it a thing where Game Pass is you get Game Pass and you have it, and it's more or less like everything that's on Xbox that's also on Switch is part of Game Pass, meaning Microsoft, or meaning uh, Minecraft, and then like Cuphead, and yeah. then like if there's games that have cross, like Dead Cells, if Dead Cells is yeah. on Xboxes, but then at that yeah. point, now you start to get into that thing of like, what does Nintendo say? Like, wait a minute, you're taking money out of our pocket. So, there has to be something financially, and I think that's yeah. what has to get all worked out. Once that all gets worked out, I think we, we wind up seeing it. Well, and that's and that's why I think stuff like Ori or Rare Replay or Sea of Thieves is a great kind of like we're you know we're gonna put these games on your, on your platform. We're gonna get money because they sell yeah. mm-hmm. right. I, if I'm Xbox, brilliant. If we sell yeah. it and we get some money, that's a good thing. Nintendo's yeah. gonna get a bit of a cut, and it strengthens that relationship. Yeah. Right. Um, so it, it'll be interesting to see. I, I, to me, that's, that's the interesting thing. I'm very interested to see what they do. Yeah. Um, but I do think Xbox will have a presence in some capacity. Oh, I do think you will see one or two games that are currently on the Xbox that will be coming to Nintendo switch. And I wouldn't be shocked. Like for example, sea of thieves, may, thieves may be the, and it's out today drop, mm. right? Man, again, that's huge because they ha- they they have traditionally done a two to three game out today yeah. drop um, on uh, on e on e three, and I would be shocked if, if that's one of them. Um, now I have an idea that I think is, mm-hmm. and I'm curious what you think. I believe that Ubisoft announces Mario Rabbits two. Uh, I do have down here, I do have, what what's Ubisoft been doing? And we should expect something from Ubisoft. I yeah. don't believe it's Rabbids. I believe it's too early. I, <laughs> I disagree. Um, okay. Because this is a company that does quick turnaround on stuff. Mm-hmm. And I totally could see... Now, I could either see one of two things. I could see them going Mario Rabbids 2. Or 
here's a huge expansion for Mario Rabbids 1. I feel like the DLC expansion is more likely than a Rabbids 2. But you are right. Like, Ubisoft does a, a quick turnaround. Yeah. Um, I'm more excited to maybe see Super Mario Odyssey, where it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey as Mario. Did you stop it? I, stop? That's what I, so I really want to see. Get out of here, man. I want to see Luigi, pun, Lu, uh, Luigi plunging off of a, a building, kind of doing the cross spin land just and just it. like stabbing people. Just and he's it. like, it's me, it's me, it's <laughs> me. Um. Okay. I do think so. I do think that I do think they have something up their sleeve. Yeah. I'd be curious if it's not Mario Rabbids. What's the other part? And again, I'm only making the assumption they're doing a partnership again. Listen, they, they it's been working they're well. Two for, they're, two they're two for two, two, man. Why would you not keep right. it up? So I, I'm curious, like what would what could potentially that be? And the other interesting thing is we're seeing how I'm going to use the word loose, but I guess more free. Nintendo has been with their IPs over the last three years, mm -hmm. that makes me think that who else is doing something with an IP that we didn't think of, right? So you think of Mario and Rabbids, somebody else had the IP. Star Fox, somebody had the IP. Um, Cadence of Hyrule, mm. right? That's an indie with with Link, with yeah. the Zelda IP, right? So I think there's some interesting things that Nintendo is allowing. So um, I wouldn't be, I'd, I'd be very interested to see what Ubisoft has. Do you do you think we see any 3DS ports moving to Switch? I the only one if, I'm thinking about is Metroid. I don't I don't think it's a Metroid. I think we might see a Wario. Okay. Like a Wario smooth moves that doesn't I don't know. I don't. I don't think Metroid because I think if you move, Me and I, are you think like what Metroid would they move? Samus Returns. Do you mean the one they just did two years yeah. ago? Mm -hmm. That's a jerk move. It's a jerk move, but it didn't sell well. <sighs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, but, listen. Uh, you could also say it was a jerk move to do all the games from the Wii, the or the Wii U over. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but it's but it's a matter of here's the thing that didn't sell well. We know it yeah. should sell well. Let's put it on something that's selling well. I don't like. I don't. I don't think so. I think that they're, you know, as much as I, I, I yeah, I don't think we've seen anything 3DS sports. I, and I could be that could be the thing they lead with, and I'm completely wrong. But I don't think so. I, this is possible. Do we see any Wii U ports? What Wii U ports do they have left? I think the only that, Wii U ports that 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 they could bring over. That could be substantial and mean something is Pikmin three. Yeah, but I don't I don't see that happening unless they did a combination of one, two, and three. Um, yeah, did two Zelda games mm -hmm. that that could potentially come over, and then um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions would be the only. Thing. I I don't think Tokyo Mirage is big enough um, fan base. Mm -hmm. to pull to pull that over mm -hmm. as a port um pikmin i could see a pikmin trilogy mm -hmm. right one two three um i think that would be about it and there's probably whoever's somebody's listening to this right now and they're yelling at us they're like you forgot well barry, it's, it was, it's simple favorite. barry dunn's yelling us about devil's third oh yeah that's never gonna happen <laughs> um Hey, that happens. will burn a switch to the ground. Like that's. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that kid needs to get. That kid needs to get some taste in games. No like, kidding. Oh, what is wrong? No with kidding. That? No kidding. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that could actually come over? That has a, that has a substantial impact, right? I mean, um, 3D World as well. Yeah, three. Yeah, I guess that is that three. Three D World could, but then, but then you're you're in an interesting space because of Super Mario Maker Two, which has that three D World. Yeah aesthetic in it but then that's a good link in potentially yeah. i got that's an odd one yeah um is that worth it and they know it'll probably sell but then is that taking up mind share of like another 3d mario yeah right so that's um that's an oddball one i don't I would, know if i would buy i would buy 3d world again no questions yeah. asked i love that game yeah um but yeah it's 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 you know it's up in the air. 
I think I think the I think the one if, if there was one I was gonna put money on Bobby, it'd be the it'd be Pikmin. Whether that's yeah. a Pikmin three deluxe yeah. or Pikmin three Supreme or a Pikmin trilogy. Yeah. That's where my and again I think I think if that was to happen, I do think we are going to get a, a teaser for Pikmin four. Yeah. That'll be a that'll be a twenty twenty game. Yeah. Um because I do think that's on the docket. I think that's done. Well, yeah. Miyamoto said a couple of years ago that it was it was done. We're presuming that's not that wasn't the Pikmin for the 3DS. What's that? I said we're all presuming that that game that he was talking I, about was not Pikmin for 3DS. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that one because he said yeah. four, and that was not four. That was yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. unless unless somebody in translation screwed up what he was saying. Sure. That which is very possible happens all the time. Yeah, it happens all the time. Yep. You got anything Let else ask, there, or what, what do you got? Yeah, yeah. A couple of things. I have another like headline. Mm-hmm that I think uh, for us to think of, and it is the third party party. Mm. And what I mean by that is that we are now at a two years since the switch has launched. And I think a lot of companies said, eh, not a hundred percent sure. Mm. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to wait. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have seen companies in the last six, nine months begin to really begin to get on board with it. Yeah. Right. We're seeing games either being ported over or first to switch. I do believe that, that you know, it is also coming to Switch day and date will now be a very popular statement at E3 this year. So keep your eye on the Bethesda conference. Yeah. Keep your eye on the Square conference. Keep your eye on you know all those other little conferences where pre- traditionally, as a Nintendo fan, you might be like, "Ah, sure, that's not for me." Yeah. Keep your eye on that because I think you're going to see more from there, yeah. and I think that's also going to leak into the uh, the direct, right? So a couple of things that I have down here for potential offerings that we might hear from third parties is we may hear Overwatch from Blizzard, right? So we know we know that Diablo 3 was October. They did pretty good numbers with yeah. that. They have had um, – over um, Blizzard has openly said that they've had a dip in their um, Overwatch participation or, yeah. or – per, you know, so they're trying to reinfuse that. They also so be- said a year ago – that Overwatch was running on the Switch. Yes. Yeah. So I think I think Overwatch could definitely be coming to the Switch. I think the other one that obviously news broke this week about it, which isn't a huge shock, is Apex Legends. Um, yeah, that was another that one, one that, that was supposed to be they, coming. Yeah, well, they blatantly said, they're like, yeah, we're putting it on a mobile device later this year. Yeah. So if it's going mobile, it's going on Switch. Yeah, I agree. Whether it's... Whether it's ready to be on the Switch and announce at E3, that's a question, but I'm not 100% sure if on that one. If they're smart, it's ready, and it launches on Switch. Because yeah. if people weren't paying attention last year, that blew... I mean, Fortnite was a juggernaut in the making at that point. Yeah, It just hit the perfect storm and hit the Switch. And, dude, I'll tell you right now, at that time, I was at E3, and my phone was blowing up from yeah. at the time it was the make us better discord of everybody just like teaming up and going off and playing yeah. together because they were losing yeah. their minds so you you would want to get a hold of that and take off with yeah. that so i you know we'll see so we'll see how that goes i think the other ones that we could uh could get some information on as well or potentially see i do think potentially speaking of fortnite fortnite save the world single player campaign i'm surprised that could be not there yet that could yeah that could be an easy move over there yeah we have had a uh, an accidental leak or release that uh, Rel- uh, Realm Royale yep, one. The, from Paladins is going to come over. So I yeah. think that could happen. I wouldn't be shocked if we hear something potentially from Bethesda or from Square about games coming over. And I mean from Bethesda, we may see an actual Fallout, not just Fallout Shelter. But could Fallout we potentially three Fallout 3 or 4 actually Probably coming four, over? if anything. And then yeah. from Square, could we actually hear potentially of a Kingdom, uh, Kingdom Hearts well, coming over as well? I think I think we could hear a couple things from Square. I think the Secret of Mana yep. special edition that got made a couple last year. I think that could come over without a doubt. Yep. Um, Kingdom Hearts. I think they're probably working on it, and I think yep. they, they would probably announce that we're doing it. The other one, I just don't know that it can run on there. Would be Final Fantasy VII. I just don't know that it can run on there. I don't. I don't think you can. I don't. I. I... You know, I I know don't. if you ask if you ask Square, they want it there. There's no doubt yeah. about it. They want yeah. as much stuff on the Switch as possible. 
Well, and again, Square has had a very interesting relationship with Nintendo over the last several months with the releasing of all their Final Fantasy games, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Right? So they, they and they know they have the appetite for it. We know the people who have been purchasing it. So it logically makes sense, but I do think that one may, that one may end up being a um, uh, hardware limitation. Isn't there um, a new game... Isn't there a new game from the comp, from the Tokyo Mirage? Not Tokyo, Tokyo RPG Factory. I thought there was another. They they announced mm. a new uh, RPG from them. I don't know, but actually, sorry, that reminds me of Town from Game Freak. Yes, that's another one that should be close to being ready too. Yeah, so that one that that one mm, that one I feel like might be a twenty twenty. Probably they'll probably push that one because it's it's such. It's such a heavy field right now. Yeah. And if I was, I mean, if I was Pokemon Company, Game Freak, I would want a game like Town away yeah. from Pokemon. Yes. Like, bring it out in March, April, and yeah. just get away from Pokemon. You know, yeah. just don't, you don't want to be in the same area as it. No, I think, I think Pokemon's got a pretty big wave. Uh, so, Yeah. Those are my those are my thoughts, kind of. I, 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 I like them. I, I, I like where you're going. I like where your head is. Um, I think there's so much stuff that could potentially happen. It's not even funny. And that's, to me, that's what gets exciting is, and we're also at this point in, in which is just awesome. Because as, as Nintendo fans that, that weathered the Wii U storm, <laughs> it's so amazing to watch something like E3 and then just see and hear everybody going like, is that on Switch? Is that coming to Switch? Yeah. Is that come, like, you didn't hear that on the Wii U. Like, the Wii no. U is just like, eh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe if it, if, if, if it sells well, you know, like, yeah. we don't have that no more. And it's like, it's fantastic just to see everything that Reggie was saying pre, pre-NX, pre um, yeah. you know, during the NX time and pre-Switch time, just everything he was saying about what we need to do just came to fruition and worked out perfectly. So, yeah, great. I mean, I, I, I'm I'm sure every developer, every you know company, that's either part of the conversation or they have to have their PR team prepared for the question the moment it's released, right? And, and uh, of why it's not coming to the Switch yeah. potentially, right? So, um, Sean said yeah. something. Sean said something that was pretty poignant and and that's a nice change. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> But he said that um, he thinks that Nintendo should, rather than a sizzle reel, get into more indie games and actually give them a section on the floor at E3 for people to play their games. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, so like, and, and, and what he's and what he's liking it to or likening it to is if you remember during the Wii U. They had a uh, it was it was a thing called Nindies at Home, yeah. And it, and it basically was they did a sizzle reel during the direct, mm-hmm. and then during Treehouse, all these different indie developers came on the stage, showcased their mm-hmm. games. We got demos at home, mm, and if you downloaded it all, you got yeah. them. You got a discount when you bought yeah. the game, but yeah. also, I would take it a step further, like he's saying is. Give them a section at E3 to have like, yeah. hey, you could play these games here and try them out. Because here's the thing, and this is, and and, and I'm in, a, in agreement with him, and I, and I felt this way for a very long time. The indies, this is their home right now. Mm-hmm. Welcome them and and yeah. give them a better system in terms of like, dude. There's so many games that are getting lost in the eShop. Yeah. You need to start spotlighting some of these companies and going like these are the these are the good ones. You know? Yeah. So I, I, I mean I, I, I would say this. So my experience being at you know I, in my experience only been having been to Gamescom in Germany last year, yeah. being to Pat uh, not PAX but sorry EGX over here in um, Europe a couple times. Yeah. Is that when they have an event like that and Nintendo is there? Nintendo has a strong. Nindy's presence. Okay. Um, and I would say about 50% of the floor space is dedicated to Nindy's. Well, I can um, tell you from being at E3 time last year, there was yeah. no Indies there. Really? Yes. Yeah. So that's very different than the experience that we would have over here. Yeah. Right. And actually, um, events like EGX Resed is specific Indies. Like it's only like yeah. Nintendo doesn't show up with a big game. It's all, it's all Indies. And that's right? the way it should be. But, yeah. but let's be honest. Let's be fair. Nintendo of America just doesn't 
have it together when it comes to that stuff. Like Nintendo yeah. Europe, they love the indies. Yeah, they they treat them guys like they're like they're rock stars out, out there. And yeah. Japan, obviously, they don't do much at all. Um, yeah. But yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all that that Europe is doing more for indies over there. Yeah, and so. and, and to be and to be honest too, is like most of the developers are out there as it is. That's where yeah. most of the indie developers are. So yeah. So okay, let's. Uh, that's all. <laughs> so that is all. Thank you guys for listening to this awesome episode. Um, Justin, man, I love I love having you on. Have love chat. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. It's Please, been a long man. time, but thank uh, you for, it's uh, great. Thank you for reaching out to me, man. This is, well, this is me. anytime. Um, be sure to follow Justin Masson. You can follow him on Twitter at Masson23. Uh, you can follow him also at Nintendo Dads. Uh, be sure to go check out everything Nintendo Dads YouTube channel. He does a lot of the video content over there. Little little things where he's sitting in his car and recording. And he's making predictions about Nintendo Directs that never happened and all that stuff. <laughs> It's unmanageable hype. It's, it's, what it's, it's, it's what happens. It's fine. This is where you need Zach to tell you manage your expectations. No one keeps me in check anymore. That, that's no the problem. Zach, so I can do whatever said, we I need want. Zach back. Zach, Zach needs to make the Nintendo dads great again. He likes to. Oh, uh, jeez, no. <laughs> yeah. He needs that man's needs a bigger ego. Ah, uh, no. It's Zach is lost in Never Never Land. He's in people's yeah. minds all the time now. Yeah. Um, you can check me out over at Nintendo Gurus on uh, Twitter. Uh, that is all. Peace out, Preston.
had to do what you got to do, right? I mean, ultimately. Yeah. All right, let me uh, let me turn this one light on so it's not all weird in here. Because it seems like. Yeah, let me let me, ch- let me change my lighting. There we go. <laughs> Don't be jealous. All I hear I is just, jealousy in your voice. Just gonna swing the hotel room lamp right now. <laughs> oh God, how you been, man? Good. How about you? It's been way too long. Way too long it's since we've talked. Very long. I don't like it. Diff- Skype told me it's the- been nine months. We could have had a baby in this time. I know, right? Being in the different time zone, it's hard. Yeah, it does. It you sucks. Know? It like does. it sucks for sucks for you, and it's hard for me. So when yeah. I'm back at stateside, it's usually when I try and book book calls with people because it is a little bit more reasonable. So who's for the, everyone? So who's the first? Am I the first one? Uh, for my E3. For this stuff. So you've yeah. been to this, okay. So that I feel special already. Yeah, no one, no one. I will, and I will even say for the Nintendo dads, no one has heard my predictions. You are the very first person who's going to hear any of my thoughts. Holy cow! Okay. This is a Bobby okay. Paul's Nintendo Guru exclusive. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Nintendo Nintendo dads isn't even going to get this for like another two weeks. I'm oh, not that's amazing! Show. That's amazing. So, Me and Toby did ours last week, but did you? But I can always. Um, I'm always going to do more. It's fine. One yeah. of my one of my predictions already got blown out of water. I thought. Oh, uh, really? I thought they were going to do a Nintendo um, uh, World Championships again and showcase mm. Mario Maker Two. And yeah, didn't do it. Would have been like a good. Would have been, been, been a great segue for it. Would have made sense, right? You know what I mean? Would have. Like the year they did it the first time. Yeah, yeah. And Nintendo, whatever. Um, I'm I'm actually shocked we haven't got a direct yet, but I still predict we're going to get one in in this month. Oh, uh, you know, okay, hold on. We're going to get into this because I'm about to kick your ass out. I'm a, little, I'm a little annoyed with you with these predictions. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what is up, everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru. And today's obviously a little different because if you're listening.